Hey guys, Sean here, and this is an update on Project Natural, which is an 11.4 gallon Mr. Aqua Chick Aquarium. It's a Rimless Aquarium, and I've got a pair of clowns. Uh, one was a larger clown that was paired with the bubble tip anemone, and I added in a juvenile. Which was kept up day from the larger clown initially, and then it allowed it to come in closer and closer until um, they have seemed to have been paired. Um, now the larger one is definitely paired with the anemone, um, as it was when it was by itself. The juvenile tends to act like it's paired with the anemone, but I'm not 100% sure uh, as of yet if it's truly paired. So um, I believe the larger one, if it wasn't a female yet, will become a female, and the smaller juvenile will uh, transition into a male, um, according, to, according to my understanding of the pairing of clowns. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the, the lighting so that we can see them a little bit better. You can also see the uh, arrow crab. As well as the turbo snail. So I'm also using a tripod um, based on a recommendation from CJ Aquariums. So I appreciate him uh, recommending this tripod. I picked one up as soon as I saw his um, recommendation video to film with a, a cell phone. So what this tripod does, it allows um, me to have a stationary mount instead of trying to film this handheld. So I'm trying out these tripod um, for the first time. Um, it lists for about $14.99 on Amazon now and I'll put a link in the um, comment um, or an in info on the video. Um, I also have some rock that I brought in with the anemone and it's got some star polyps on it. It's got some blue or purple star polyps. I think I have to bring it in closer for you guys to see that. So, got some nice star polyps there. And I also have some zoas cropping up in some areas. Sorry about that, a focus shot. So we'll go back to the clowns. By the way, this tank um, is now filtered by the Fluval AquaClear 70. I've got the cobalt 50 watt heater uh, running inside of it to heat the water. And since I've got a tripod set up, I'm going to go ahead and uh, feed the tank. And of 
course, I'm not following another recommendation by CJ to take the lid off, so I'm going to go ahead and pop the lid off. Adjust the color. So you can see that bigger clown and the smaller clown, they love to eat. Very happy. And um, while we're at it, I'm gonna talk a little bit about an adjustment I made to the AquaClear. I shortened the intake because what was happening was the intake was going down uh, with just one section to the anemone and sucking the anemone in. So I went ahead and uh, did use some pieces that I had sitting around from some pumps and uh, went ahead and uh, shortened the intake. And uh, the water does seem to be filtered just fine uh, with it set up like that. And I've also got a power head, um, the, the Hydro uh, 240 GPH power head uh, circulating the water around. So I did a water change on the aquarium um, recently and um, water should be up to par. I haven't done a API test on it lately. I'll probably test it in the next day or two. But this is a really cool tank. Playing around with the lighting and the focus. So as you can see, the um, juvenile and the larger clownfish seems to be uh, paired up. Um, they're not fighting over the anemone like uh, when the smaller um, juvenile was first introduced. And the juvenile is starting to, to pair real nice with the anemone. So um, everything's working out so far so good. And these are a um, like a chocolate colored anemone. I mean, I'm sorry chocolate covered, chocolate uh, colored uh, clownfish. So hopefully um, we'll see some successful breeding here. I'm not sure exactly how to breed clownfish to be honest, but um, these are gonna be pretty much the two residents inside the arrow crab, um, some hermit crabs and some snails uh, in here so um, you know we'll see how how it goes so that larger clown is really doing some cool stuff right now <laughs> 